Have you guys seen this video? They are testing the Tesla truck with robots. Firing the hole. I know, it's fascinating. Seems like CGI, but that's not the main point. I'm alive. Good for you, buddy. Awesome. Yeah, definitely is. The main point is, that's just like the game we're making in the tutorial. And the main character is guess who? This guy. No, I mean, this guy. What a surprise it was for me to see a robot in a cowboy hat in real life. Very cool. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is a CGI, and I wonder if Elon Musk saw this. Maybe yes, maybe he was busy watching my devlogs. Anyway, before we repeat experiment from the video, I need to tell you how did I get cars into this game. I'm a Udemy instructor, and I wanted to give people a unique project that would not only teach them how to make video games, but also provide a solid base they could build upon. I want them to be able to pivot the development development and transform the game into what they want. It can become a roguelike, you would have to reach a final destination and procedural level generation would make it only better. Could be sort of a tower defense game where you place turrets to protect your base. Also there is a mission system so it could be a game like Borderlands or well long story short it is versatile and when you have such a good and solid base game you always want to add more. And in the last video I've told you how to escape tutorial hell but feature creep is my enemy till this day. And I could not resist adding cars into this game. Why do you need cars? In a shooter game? Well, I don't know any game that got worse with the cars in them. Also, some of the modern games do not have any mounts, but I do, so yeah kinda cool. Um, we not only have cars in this project, but also we make them with all details possible, because a simple arcade controller is too boring. So I decided to put work into it, and now you can define the drive type, drift factor, acceleration, mass of the car. The car system alone allows you to make entire racing game, and just driving around the desert feels like a fun thing to do. Also I wanna mention that driving cars is not enough if you have enemies in the game. You're supposed to be able to strike them down. So by adding an explosion effect on a collision and using ragdolls for the enemies, I made this fun, like really fun mechanic where you can drive around and knock enemies over with a car. And sometimes when you're knocking enemies with a car, it looks just like a scene from a movie. I love it so much, man. And being able to create something like that feels so good telling you. Anyway, if you drive a car and you can knock enemies over with your car, you're supposed to be able to destroy the car. I did test different systems to display car damage, trying to bend mesh and you know, different things, but after playing with it for a week or so, I felt like this is not really necessary and I decided to remove it. It was a good lesson for me, cause you know, feature creep. I got you this time. Also, while I was working on this car system, I found out about Suno AI. And this is not a sponsorship, just wanna share a cool stuff. So you can make a song, basically it's like turn your text into a song or something like that. And I made really cool song about robot in a cowboy hat. I've taken the coolest part, so please guys listen to it. This is just amazing. I'm the only survivor in this robot race. Shooting bullets. I'm on fire, I'm the desert dynasty, no fear or desire Cool and calculated, I'm the king of the sand I'm in control, this is my command I don't care, there's no one around I'm just a robot chilling in this ghost town so I really like this one. And let me know if you like it too. Maybe I can make some sort of music video for the guy. Could be really fun. Anyway, about destruction of the car. I did not really want to spend time on bending mesh and so on, but still I wanted to be able to destroy the car and in some noticeable way. So I found this explosion effect. And now if you damage car enough, it will explode. And as always, cool guys do not look at explosions. I did promise to repeat experiment from the video and it's time to bring Tesla truck here. So now Tesla truck, check. Robot in a cowboy hat, check. Gun, check. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's not as impressive as I imagined in my head, but still, it feels nice. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I want to thank my students and patrons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot and Retrobite Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. I'm